In June, David Graziano was given the keys to one of the most valuable fiefdoms in television when he was named showrunner of Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, SVU among fans, ahead of the NBC drama's record-setting 24th season. Graziano, known as Graz to friends and colleagues, is a prominent television writer and producer with a lengthy string of credits to his name including stints on the recent adaptation of Neil Gaiman's American Gods on Stars and the Amazon original Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. None of his previous shows, however, can claim SVU's enduring popularity, it is the longest-running primetime live-action series in history, shown in 250 territories worldwide. In September, the series kicked off its new season with a bang, a three-hour crossover event with the trio of currently airing Law & Order dramas. The special was the most watched on network television, demonstrating how strongly SVU still connects with loyal viewers who remain invested in this elite squad of NYPD detectives. But trouble was brewing behind the scenes. Not long after Graziano took the helm of SVU, the show's script coordinator, who works closely with the show's writers, quit. After the position was posted on a list serve that circulates widely among script coordinators, it triggered warnings from other individuals who had previously worked with Graziano. The new showrunner, David Graziano, is a very unprofessional, egocentric, and immature man. I have been in this industry a long time, and I have never experienced such pure, white male misogyny wrote Haley Cameron, the script coordinator who had exited the show. Under Graziano, the production was an absolute unorganized nightmare, she continued, cautioning, I urge you, especially women, to think twice before putting yourself in a position that could end as badly as mine did. Cameron did not detail the conduct that she found to be unprofessional in her listserv remarks. She declined to comment to the Times. In a statement provided by his spokesperson, Alif Erhal, Graziano said that Cameron worked for less than a month on the show in an entry-level position and that her claims about him were false and undermined by the fact she was about to be fired over concerns he had raised about her unprof.